What is good, Horror Horde? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, back with another video for you. In today's video, we have another Creepypasta Theater, and on tonight's episode of Creepypasta Theater, we're going to be exploring a truly terrifying and unnerving Creepypasta. We're going to be exploring the Creepypasta known as Afraid of the Dark. When he woke up, the young boy only recognized the growing sense of thirst from within his dehydrated body. He licked his parched lips and slipped out of the covers. His body suddenly hit by a cold air stitched into the seams of the oppressive darkness ahead. His body quivered as he reluctantly embraced the chill temperature and made his way to the door, jumping with each step as small creaks were produced from the weight of his foot being placed upon the oak floorboards. Although the noise was faint, it sounded deafening, loud in contrast to the dead silence surrounding the petite child. Five fingers curled around the bronze-colored doorknob ahead, and they steadily turned it until a small click was heard. A tiny hand was then placed against the wooden door coated in a fine layer of white paint and with a gentle push the barrier between the safe haven of the child's bedroom and whatever lay beyond was removed the young boy shivered as he as a new draft of icy air entered the room a brand new wave of darkness seemed to rush through the doorway and engulf the area its color resembling that of tar summoning up all the courage he could. He placed both feet firmly on the beige carpet that embellished the ground. His eyes glared at the corridor before him. It appeared lengthier at night than during the day. He could imagine elongated arms melting from the walls on both sides, grasping at his clothing. He could envision dozens of spiders dropping from the ceiling several landing in his hair and others crawling on the surface of his body. Shaking his head, he banished such thoughts and proceeded down the hallway. The air on the back of his neck stood up as the boy walked past the room where his parents soundly rested in their comfortable bed. There was no turning back, and even if he wanted to, his craving for a drink to sedate his ever-growing dehydration only grew. He carried on still, finally reaching the end of the endless path, and found himself in a clearing. But then, his eyes had grown somewhat accustomed to the dark, and he could make out a few pieces of furniture in the television set. The boy slowed his pace and gulped nervously. A sense of peril entrenched the room. He found the shadows would dance in the corner of his eyes, only to disappear once he turned his head in the direction. The darkness seemed even more foreboding than it ever had now. He desperately wished to run to his parents like he had so many times before. Still, he remembered how they had always told him there was nothing to be afraid of. They explained numerous times that his young imagination would always come up with the ways to scare him, but he had to learn to be brave and overcome the fear he would often encounter at the hands of his own mind. Thus, the boy's mind was set on proving his mother and father that he wasn't afraid anymore, and he carried on. He confidently walked forward, repeating what his parents had said with each stride. After taking a few steps, he heard it from behind him. The boy could make out the sound of footsteps, their rhythm conflicting with his own. As he stood, so did they. His heart began beating faster than before. Had it been his mind playing tricks on him again? He presumed his steady pace, and this time, the only footsteps he could hear were his own. As the boy neared the kitchen, he found himself standing completely still once more. Figures and shapes yet again found themselves 
located in the corners of his eyes. He attempted to take a few deep breaths in order to calm down. It was just his imagination, right? He tried his hardest to assure himself of that, but somewhere in the back of his mind, he doubted it. And that growing sense of fear showed as he walked even faster. He kept his eyes focused ahead, not daring to look behind him for even a second. The offbeat footsteps returned once more, and the child responded by going even faster. He felt the wind start to pick up and brush by his face as he realized how quickly he was moving. He was certain that his imagination was causing him to hear the footsteps on his trail and the forms appearing in the corner of his eyes. He was certain that his imagination was the reason behind his deepest, darkest fears, which were beginning to make their presence known within his soul. He knew for a fact that it was his imagination that could make his heart beat the way it did and soak his palms in the thin layer of sweat. His parents would never lie to him, would they? Regardless of what he knew to be true or not, he was close to arriving at his destination. He began a full sprint as he felt the darkness clutching at his ankles and arms. He could hear the footsteps aimlessly walking around, and more illusions of figures accompanied them. The boy had one hell of imagination, and he had one thought racing through his mind. He needed to find a light switch. He was desperate for the light that would illuminate his surroundings, driving back the treacherous night and whatever creatures lived in it. Their sole purpose in life to capture him and munch on his bones. He was so close, just a few feet away. The boy leaped forward and pushed the small lever upwards, soaking him in the area in warm, much appreciated glow. He sighed deeply, relieved to be out of danger at last. However, before he could even move, his heart stopped and his eyes widened. Behind him, he heard a voice most unfamiliar. It was rough, guttural, and moist, and it echoed throughout the entire house. Finally, I can see you. So, Horror Horde, with all that being said, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, if you ever find yourself at night thirsty and needing a drink, and you find yourself walking to the kitchen, just know to be aware of everything around you and be aware of your surroundings because you never know if the footsteps behind you or the images in the corner of your eyes are really your imagination or if there's someone waiting in the darkness to take you away. And with all that being said, Horror Horde, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, until next time, don't fear the darkness, embrace it.